Hey guys, Juan here, and in today's tech video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process and how to install your Samsung rear speaker kit. So let's go ahead and cue the intro and dive into today's video. Inside the box here, we do have the speakers. It's got that metal grill on there, metal grill finish that matches the sound bar that I have. The black and white, or, or black and red inputs, where if you did want to wire this thing with these wires, but this is a wireless, oops. But this is a wireless kit, so you should be able to use these without these wires. Here's the power cable. And then here is the brains. All right, so this is the Samsung. See, it says wireless right there. And the left and right channels, power cable gets hooked in right here. Okay, so let's get a good look at these speakers here. It looks like there's a hole here, probably the treble. This is the main speaker portion. It is metal all the way around. It's got the Samsung branding on the top here. What I like about it is it doesn't, like whenever you touch it, doesn't leave fingerprints. So that's nice. On the bottom here, there are four little nubby feet in case you do put it on something flat like this if you wanted to. Looks like it does slide though. It's not, they're not like rubber feet. Um, or you can use that screw hole right there and try to mount it onto your wall. Okay, so now that we got everything open, I do want to put in a big, big disclaimer. Uh, something that may be some false advertising. Now this here says wireless rear speaker kit. Samsung's definition of wireless and mine are a lot different because you actually have to use these wires in order to use these rear speakers. Um, the wireless part here comes with this thing here connecting to the sound bar. So that's what's wireless. But the actual speakers itself, they have to be plugged in with these wires and then hooked into the main base here. So that may be a, you know, a big discrepancy of people wanting to buy these speakers because um, they may be under the understanding of that you just buy these things and you can set these anywhere you want. Um, but I guess for the price, this is what you get. Um, I mean, you could go the $100 around and get like a Sonos. Um, those things are hundreds of dollars and go that route to get your wireless um, rear system. But that's what these are. So let's go ahead and continue with the unboxing and get these hooked up. Okay, so now that we have the speakers outside of the box, we're going to hook up this speaker wire here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a black tab, red tab. Just hook them right into where they match in color. Just kind of push it in there until it stops. Right here and here. All right, and now they're hooked up in the back. And then on the other end here, something that you want to make note of is on the speaker itself, it says surround sound left or surround left right there. So whenever you do hook it in, you want to make sure you're going into whichever one is left or right on here, which is uh, labeled as L and R. Okay, now last but not least, as far as connecting up the cables is the main power, power cable here. And that just gets plugged in just like so. On the other end, looks like this. So one thing I do like about uh, some of these newer Samsung devices is they're not, sometimes you get these big old electrical brick outlets that end up taking up like two of your plugins whenever you plug it in. But this is nice and narrow, it just plugs right in. Okay, so now that we have everything hooked up here and unboxed, let's get it hooked up to the sound bar. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in the sound bar now. All 
All right, now if the light is blinking blue, you wanna go grab your remote to your sound bar and press on that volume button. You wanna press down on it, hold it for five seconds. Okay, so on your sound bar, you're looking for ID set to pop up on it. Okay, so after you hit the ID set button, this light here will stay solid blue, which means that it is now connected. If you do have any issues with it not connecting on the back of this, this unit here, there is a spot, there's a hole right, right there that you'll stick your pen in like this or pencil and um, stick it in there and hold it and that throws it into a blinking blue light so that way your sound bar can set because what I ended up happening was it, it went to red, it didn't stay blinking blue long enough so I actually had to do that. So it was easy though, after you click it in there and you, and you hold it, turn on your volume button on your sound bar remote for five seconds it was almost instantaneous after it connected and now it's blue showing that it is connected okay so if you do need to turn up the sound on your rear speakers you hit the settings icon here All right, so you'll hit the settings icon here and you'll select it until it says rear, R-E-A like that. And then you'll just turn it up based on that. Okay, so that is how you set up the Samsung rear speaker kit. Hopefully uh, this will help you out, but I do wanna give you guys a bit of note of caution of which models are compatible with this to make sure you do have a Samsung and I'll go ahead and tell you those right now, just to kind of save you the research of looking it up. But it is the M360, the M450, M4500, the M550, and that's it. So make sure you have that model of Samsung soundbar before you buy this wireless rear speaker kit. But hopefully this setup and unboxing was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. So until then, go out there guys and be creative.